Next tonight, a supernatural teen thriller, but with a very serious message. Angels vs. Bullies is a film set in Basildon and is about how young people deal with bullying. The film is showing at venues across London as part of Anti-Bullying Week. In a moment, I'll be speaking to one of its stars, Eleanor Cochran, who was bullied at school, and director Chris Turner. But first, here's a look at the film. There are ghosts in this school. Why me? Who else can see us lame brain? We don't get to choose. I'm joined now by Eleanor Cochran and Chris Turner, uh, who directed the film Angels uh, vs. Bullies. Um, Eleanor, let's start with you. I, I mentioned uh, before that you were bullied at school. What was your experience like of being um, bullied? My experience is the same as a lot of children mm. at school. I wasn't bullied tremendously, but like a lot of children that go to school, they experience bullying. You mm. see it in your friends, in friendship groups, you see it in any schools around the world. Mm. Um, so for me, taking part and being a main in this film mm. was a great message to send out to all those children mm. so they understand it a little bit better. It must have really resonated with you, having gone through it yourself. Yeah, I think you know, it was great being part of it and it was an amazing opportunity and experience mm. um, being in the film. And um, yeah, it, it, was, it was amazing. It was amazing what Chris brought to us. Well, let's talk to Chris. I mean, tell me about the film. It has got a very serious message to it, this anti-bullying message, this theme. Yeah, we, my theatre company had been in schools for 15 years, so we, we felt we understood the terrain, and we also felt we'd put in the shifts to have earned the right to, to talk about this subject. Yeah. But, I mean, a girl saw it last night, she tweeted me, and she said, it's edgy but fun. Mm. Um, so, although there is a very serious message at the heart of it about how we lose children yeah. because they can't face that Monday morning back in school, yeah. ultimately there's an uplifting... Mm message at the end of it. And it's not, uh, I mean, we think of bullying as it being in the playground and at school, but it, it's taken on all new forms now, hasn't it? Because it's cyberbullying, it's on, it's on the internet now, it's on Facebook, it's on Twitter. So do we have to adapt how we deal with it as well, of course? I think we do, but we also have to remember that we all have a duty of care towards mm. each other and schools should be an environment uh, that is conducive to learning rather than mm. being a place where youngsters have to run for their lives. Mm. And uh, Eleanor, this film's been such a success, there's going to be another one. Yeah. And I know auditions are taking place soon, next, next year, I think January, in yes. London. Yeah. What would you say to people who are thinking about coming forward to want to appear in the next film? I'd tell them to go for it. it was, for me, it was absolutely great. Now, here's a frightening statistic. Every year, around 20 young people in Britain take their own lives because they're being bullied at school. In the run-up to Anti-Bullying Week, which actually is next week, the director of a new feature film on the subject has been talking to young people in Essex. Some 300 young people were employed in the making of Angels vs Bullies. Morning assembly at Great Notley High School, Braintree. Chris Turner, director of a new film, is a man with a mission. For 15 years, he's toured schools across the country with the anti-bullying message. 12-year-old Nathan, who took his own life, his inspiration. You can't see Nathan, but he's standing right next to me. He comes everywhere with us. And everything we do from now on has to have real integrity because we cannot let him down because he's, he was let down by everybody. We are now his representative on earth. We are going to give him the say he was not allowed by his tormentors. This whole being a gangster thing, how's that working out for you? Although we have so many schemes in place in our school, like our CHIPS, Child Line and Partnership with Schools um, scheme, I think that it's something that won't get eradicated by itself. It's something that we all have to work towards. Luckily it's never happened to me, but it has happened to some of my friends. And I think it's something that if you don't experience it, or you don't actually see it happening, people don't realise quite how important it is. Very good film. It just really made my heart race. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I got completely lost in it. It made you feel like you were in his head. Well written and exciting. Oh, it was very good. Go and see it. I thought it was really good, especially the way that the film portrayed a strong message. Really got the message across about bullying. Absolutely fantastic. It was excellent. Powerful, meaningful. It was really good. <laughs> really cool. Thoroughly enjoyable. It was really good. It was wicked. Fun, edgy and exciting. Excellent. Amazing. Different and exciting. Very good film. Brilliant. Very good film. Best experience ever. I just have to say like, I just, I just enjoyed the whole thing. I just say it's excellent.
Uh, are you proud of the film? Yes, immensely proud. Everything. It's a great achievement. We really want every youngster in every school in Britain to work out actually they have a duty of care towards each other and a corporate responsibility to try and make sure that this does not happen in environments where they're meant to be learning rather than kind of running for their lives. A follow-up film has already won lottery funding. Young people who attend the special screenings are being offered the chance to audition for another drama with a powerful message. I know you're in trouble. I want to help. Just when you thought it was safe to be a bully.